Buddha. Yo, peace. Peace to my divine infinite consciousness and peace to my divine infinite self in all realms and realities. Yo, I'm walking down the little matrix blocks, you know what I'm saying, in a monopoly. So y'all gonna hear some cars, you know. They going to and fro. I don't know where in the hell they going. Ain't shit open. But we just gonna keep on strolling. Anyhow though, peace. I come on behalf of the Supreme Most High Self and his high-ranking Ethereum angels in the Cosmon era. So this we're gonna go ahead and break down the sciences of the wizardry, the warlocks and witches, and how they try to use earthly powers to master Ethereum angels, which is fucking futile, really. You have false angels ruling you. These false angels give doctrines, they give ways of teachings. I mean, these are beings who were once mortals and these mothers had already transitioned and they set up heavenly kingdoms. Now, this heavenly kingdom on earth is not the way it was set up the way you thought it was. The different um, biblical stories, Quranic stories, and also just ancient uh, stories that was put into these new age books and was plagiarized and changed around to fit their their agenda and there there is an agenda you know what i mean and that is to try to master the ethereum beings the ethereum archangels who were already uh live corporeal lives on other worlds so when these wizards who tried to use their their spell work it will only last for a certain amount of time not as long as they as they deemed it to be and they know it but some of them believe that it can last longer i'm talking about the little low ranking vibration ones the ones who think that they can get by it i'm talking about these are the ones who do um witches and spell works on relationships and shit like that or just on people that as they see walk past because they see that it kind of work and if they just mad at they sell then you know when they transition they'll become a mad and, and jealous druid or a spirit evil spirit just roaming the earth and that happens because we in the school now the school's getting set and shaken back up and put place back into order. So this is why we're here to build and utilize uh, our lessons. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about is building with the Supreme Mathematics. I'm going to use that because someone had died for that one. And that was a real deal death. You know, and this wasn't like these people, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't like, like, you know, that they sacrificed the mug, you know, saying just to, just to get you to to buy into it it was some real some real nigga shit so this is how shit going on it's a lot and it's deep but yo peep it anyone who ain't down with with the evolution of knowledge that ain't trying to um that's not applying the supreme mathematics to this yo hey i ain't gonna hate you but you you ain't we ain't finna roll and uh like that because monks had their time doing all these arc cycles and doing all these little um now, I'm talking about our little cycles, our little ciphers and shit. We had time to establish something and get land somewhere and do this, but nobody didn't do it. And everybody's fucking millionaires in hip hop and shit. <clears throat> so nobody didn't even establish a state or nothing, you know? So they just further perpetuated the evil and, and ignorance of niggas of the cluster B personality disorder. So you. You're bound to earth. So when you're at a point where you just like earth and its things, then. You will only be able to master Earth in this things. Never a, a, an Ethereum god or anyone who's straight from Ethereum who has been to many worlds, whose genes has been to many, many worlds. So whatever you know on Earth is like one thing compared to a million things to another being. So you try to master Earth and make a, make the Ethereum gene forget that he already done master Earth in many worlds and seen many corporeal realities come and go in many arc cycles and manage them so your little management on earth that you think that you're running little things and creating up false kingdoms in heaven and atmosphere burning up the ozone layer so that these beings can live is futile because the most high already seen it and everyone has been a that's right and everyone who started that who started a false religion has already been banished in Haiti. And that's a, a region 
of hell in the lower atmospheric reason. Because there's three worlds here. You got Earth, you got Atmosphere, and then you got Etheria. The genetic genes of the woolly hair being is from Etheria. That, that gene went to many worlds. This is why when you see it on Earth, they look and they're just so amazing because of the things that they can do and how they can create things. They've been, been all over the place already. So this is why you see Star Trek creating things like they're traveling through Etheria, doing all kind of shit, visiting worlds and doing the work of the Most High, like the true Etherian gods of the Most High. So they always mimic shit. They come up on your information, they turn it against you, and make it and, and, and turn your statues against you. And even some of your statues were created for worship of angelic beings. At a time in the arc cycle where everything was dark and even the angels were subjected to evilness, lower evilness. I'm talking about the higher ranking angels that worked for the most high that, that was a part of the whole the whole order. Because as above, so below. The heavenly or the heavenly kingdom sets up first, then comes the physical. The heavenly kingdom is right above you. They make you believe that, you know, the atmosphere that these people went to the moon physically, which they could not, they can only go horizontally. That's it. So yeah, you know, all of the witches, there you go. All the witches energy and all of that, I feel it. You, you gotta start paying attention. You'll feel you'll feel the goosebumps. Like I feel it right now and I'm all walking up behind me right now so fast. <laughs> so fast. You can feel it. That's why you gotta eat your fruits, berries, and melons because when you do transition, it's like a school. It depends on the grade that you get here on this realm. You'll transition into a higher state of being. Like if you're eating meat, then you're gonna your the spirit, the consciousness still has to feed on something. Has to feed with each as to feed, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be feeding on the etheric gases of the foul smelling meats, the decaying, that smell that goes up into atmosphere like that, instead of the, the fine smells of the fruits and you know the berries and melons and all that good stuff. Being light. So yeah, with that, I want to say peace. This is why you elevate your your um your eating habits so that you can get back in tune as, as being like a child again as far as like you can hear the most high you'll know the right from wrong it's also at the state of being a child where you chose to go against the grain so but you know you have parasites in you so it's easier to manipulate you and now that you know what you're gonna do all right so yeah watch out for the witches and wizardry the supreme wizardry is the is the is the highest of all but if you're a natural natural being you know the wizard does the, the will of the creator supposed supposed to do the will of the creator anyone coming in it falsely it's going it's going to perish it's a bee down here he's just like chilling on the ground i hope he's gonna be all right at the pet him and stuff but yeah all right if I had some money, he probably just getting some sun. But yeah, if I had some money, I would give it to him. But all right, with that being said, I'm going to say peace, more love, and I'll be with you later. Peace.